Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Ooh, what have I got to show you? Some chocolate boxes. Well, sort of. Um, I'm in an embellishment box swap, and by the time this video goes up, um, you would have seen the boxes I've received in. So basically, this is part of the Trashy Junk and Flourish Journal swap. You either grab a divided plastic box, which I didn't have any of, or any sort of box, and in turn it into an embellishment box, fill it with embellishments. 50% um, has to be trash or recycled stuff. Uh, well, not literally trash, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, and I ended up with three partners in Australia. I didn't mind that because postage is quite reasonable. So these are two of the boxes. I had three, sorry, I had two of these celebration boxes. I'm gonna show you inside this one. I haven't packaged it up yet. So I had two of those, and then I had this ice cream Mars bar box. They must have been on special, because I'd never buy them full price. And this was before I went in my diet. And these boxes are several years old. I've got a whole big box of boxes in one of my cupboards in my kitchen that I put away to use one day. And these three boxes got used. So this is how they're going to be packaged up. So they're packaged up with one of these big buckles that come off come off some belts I believe I got from the op shop and some ribbon and these couple of bits on the top did not fit in the box so I will show you the bits first that go on the top because they didn't fit in the box so I made oh these are just a couple of decorative envelopes so they're going to go in I made a couple of pockets sorry just tilting the camera so I can see myself no see what I'm showing you so I made a couple of sewn pockets from recycled book pages and these are just a couple of printouts from the internet and I made them and forgot that the, my boxes were a bit smaller that one has to go in reverse because the pocket at the back is not so good so then I needed some more trashy stuff so or junky stuff so I grabbed a McDonald's brown paper bag and I collect the bags when the food hasn't really touched them um, some you get and you've got like oil stains from the chips and stuff on it so these ones have no food stains on it so I've made let me pull all this out show you the bag I made a triple pocket so I've got use this tag so we've got one pocket at the front there two pockets there three pockets there and then that's the back and if you only glue it down on three sides you can create another pocket so that's just another card put some tickets in the little slots here's some tickets I used to sell in my business but don't have many left so I'm just giving them away another printout from the internet this is a printout copy of a really old like flashcards for kids how many feet how many flowers i photocopied those for a project ages ago i'm trying to use up a lot of my older stuff i've got so that looks rather cool like that so they go on top of the box because they didn't really fit in the box so i will neaten this up a bit but unfortunately australia post are probably going to wreck it so that's right so we've got some scraps of ribbon so the idea of the embellishment box is just to put all little bits and pieces in so I've got some velvety ribbon here, two-sided silky ribbon. I've got some little paper flowers that I used to sell in my business as well. Again, last few packets left, trying to find them in your home because I've already got a bunch in my own stash to keep. Um, this was Alexis with our new sewing machine, sewing on some paper. So I decided to cut that up and put that in for my partner to use as well. Um, we've got a material flower that came off a dress. Just thrown all the fuzzy bits in. Um, in this little corner, I've actually got some cupcake paper liners. I've got some red ones and red spotty ones and coloured spotty ones. And in here, it's just some inch punch outs from some pattern paper and some brown um, bias binding, as we call it in Australia. A little bit of lace and a little bit of ribbon. I will pretty those up again. Probably won't get to my partner very pretty because I'm sure Australia Post will throw it around. Some off cuts of lace. Here is just a bit of sort of tissue paper, some little punchies, just to add a little bit of scatter and a bit of mess in the box because I thought that would be fun. So I took some little, oh, I'm still throwing stuff everywhere, took some little candy bags, um, little white like lolly bags we call them here in Australia. And in here I have stamped the bags. We have some of my pleated sewn things that I make and they're available in my Zibit store. My Zibit store link is below. Some of those excess um, die cuts that I had that I photocopied and hand cut out. Um, so sharing some of those in that bag. And these strings are getting everywhere with these little punch outs. 
so I just thought something different. Obviously, these count as trash because they're offy bit, offy bits. Off cut bits. Sorry, filming quite a few videos in a row tonight because I've got a quiet night. I have a house getting built next door, so I cannot film at all during the day or do voiceovers now, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to about 5 p.m. Because we have bulldozers, men shouting, the radio going, people hollering, jackhammers, God knows what going on next door. So some little journaling spots I'm sharing. So I'm limited to when I can do filming at the moment. So it's the weekend. It's Saturday night, and I'm very surprised. Oh, is it Friday night? No, I think it's Friday night. I think it's Friday night. Isn't that dreadful? No, Saturday night. Sorry. Don't even know what day of the week it is. With Alexis um, at the moment, we just lose track of the days because, yeah, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah. No, it is Saturday night. Sorry. I'm off with the fairies tonight. So, some of my little tags that I've made. Um, again, these are considered part of the trash 50% because I made out of recycled book paper. This one's a little pocket I made, and in here I've just put another one of my little tags that I made. So I love sharing handmade things because they're unique and different, and I don't know. Did I get that one in there? I don't think that one was in there. Oh, it was just in the bag. So a couple more of my big tags. Some of these I've made a process video for, which will be uploaded over the next five weeks because there's five separate videos of me chatting and doing those. I just haven't got that on my computer yet. Very busy at the moment with life, work, Alexis, it's just flat chat. I included the oval cutout from the box in there. Hang on, I'm just going to get see if I can get all that scruffy stuff on top. So this is just some like shreddies and some punch outs and flowers. I found a little box and stuff like that, so I thought, oh, let's just throw that in. Oh, and I threw some pom-poms in. I forgot about those. So there's some pom-poms hiding in around here too, some blue ones. Had those left over from the project so okay what's in this one? Oh, this one's got some exciting stuff so this one i've inked as well with just some brown distress ink so i took a el paso taco box taco box um and made some die cuts so we've got some die cut leaves it says middle vein will pop out which would be really cool i've got an owl i love the color on the inside of the box i also included this piece you can use as a stencil or texture some tags piece of scrap paper more tags um, some assorted tags, this is a pocket you can put together, coin pocket, some more tags, just using up some scrap papers. This is wrapping paper, the shiny one, and some washi tape that we did up for classes and a while ago my daughter and I did, and we've got a few left over. So as I said, trying to go through my stash and just get rid of, not get rid of the bits, but um, find a new home for the bits and it's always fun to get someone else's bits because they're different to yours. Now let me see if I can put this back together and show you how I'm going to put it together. So I thought the little cupcake liners might keep the ribbons intact but they're being a bit of a pain at the moment. Under there. Okay and this one goes up and under here. Flower sort of goes in there. Leaves sort of work here. This can go on top, these sort of snuck on top. So the box is almost full. Now I've got the envelopes. I wonder if that actually fit into it. No, I'll put them on top. So we've got the envelopes, we've got this, and we've got this. Now put the buckle on top. Now I've got to find. So I thread this through the buckle one way. And then flip it. Did I flip it over? Yeah, I think I flipped it over. Oh, no, I want to do it the other way. Oh, I did it the other way. Okay. I did it the other way before. I think I come around the box first. Ah, uh, I don't know. I just did two of these. I should know how to do it. Okay, buckle on. That went right through that side. Ah, this is how I did it. And then this one went right up and over this middle bit and down the other side because I want to tie it on the other side of the box. So I wanted to, to tie it, flip this over and tie this in a knot, in a bow. So it's easily to get undone, you can undo all of it and use it and I may throw a few little other bits into my stash. So this is, um, the embellishment box has been around for a while, it's been kicking around with swaps but I just haven't jumped on board. 
Um, mainly because those little plastic containers, they're hard to get here in Australia and hard to find. Um, and I'm trying to use up what I've got. So I thought these would be fun. I've already received one from one of my swap partners. Um, and it was a recycled box. And you'll see it in one of the up. You probably would have already seen it. I thought these are super cute. And I cannot wait to get these packaged up and sent out to my partners. And I hope they like them. I hope they don't think they're getting chocolates. <laughs> or frozen Mars bars. And I think I'm going to send them in a pizza box. So it's going to make it even worse, isn't it? Pizza box is not used. It's one I use for my business. So it's um, it's a clean pizza box. It doesn't have pizza grease in it. <laughs> it's great. They're nice and lightweight for sending stuff um, for my business. So I buy them directly from the wholesalers. But they are my embellishment boxes. Let me know what you think. If you think there's enough in them. It's hard to do a swap when you don't know the person. So I tried to do sort of a variety of colours. And represent me in the box. Bye for now. Can't wait to receive my two other boxes. It's so exciting. And putting three together was not much more hassle than doing one. Because I got everything out to do one. I may as well do three. Then I get three times the fun to open. <laughs> Method in my madness. Bye for now.